<laughs> Are you excited to come to work with me today, Caillou? Yeah! Look at what Mommy made me! Wow! What a great tie! numbers, Daddy? Well, Caillou, if you press a number, the elevator takes you to that floor. Why don't you give it a try? We're going to level four. Cool. Good morning, Boris. Oh, and this must be Caillou. Your daddy says a lot of nice things about you. Good morning. Caillou, this is Valerie. She runs the whole office. Wow. Very nice to meet you, <laughs> Miss Valerie. So, this is where Daddy sits every day. <gasps> what do you do, Daddy? <laughs> well, Daddy does lots of things, Caillou. Right now, Valerie needs us to make some copies for a presentation. Copies? But Mrs. Martin says you shouldn't copy other people's work. Oh, Caillou, we need to make some copies so that everyone can read it. It's kind of like a show and tell. Oh, cool! <gasps> How does it work, Daddy? Well, you take whatever it is that you want to copy and put it up here. Then, you press the number for how many copies you want to make. And they pop right out into that tray. Wow! So it can copy anything? <laughs> well, not <gasps> quite anything. Oh, uh, careful, Caillou! Valerie needs me. I'll be right back. Why don't you finish putting those copies together? Oh, excuse me, sir. Have you seen my son? He's about your height with a yellow shirt it's and... It's me, Daddy. Now I'm a business person just like you. Oh, Caillou, you don't need glasses or a mustache for that. <gasps> but it does suit you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's time for Valerie's big meeting. So we've had a special helper around the office today. Caillou has been helping Boris prepare for today's meeting. And he really has been lending a hand. <laughs> that was so cool! 
cool, Daddy. When I grow up, I want to work in an office just like you. <laughs> and you'll be the best office worker there is. It was just another day at school. Or so Caillou thought. All of a sudden, Caillou felt a pain in his mouth. Caillou's tooth had come loose. Guys! Guys! Look! My tooth is wobbling! Wow, Caillou! You'll get a visit from the Tooth Fairy soon. Huh? The Tooth Fairy, Caillou? Whenever you lose a tooth, you put it under your pillow, and the Tooth Fairy comes and leaves something special underneath in its place. <gasps> no, Caillou, don't do that. It'll fall out on its own. <sighs> it seemed Caillou would just have to be patient. With that, Caillou decided to wait, but he was so excited for the rest of the day, he could barely concentrate in class. Later that day, after school, Caillou skipped out of the gate to meet Grandma. He couldn't wait to tell Mommy and Daddy about his Aww. loose tooth. That's great, Caillou. Let's take a look. Say, ah. Uh, ah. Uh, that looks almost ready to come out. But not yet. Uh, Caillou waited. And waited. <laughs> and waited. Until suddenly, his tooth fell out. <gasps> Mommy, Daddy, it came out! My tooth came out! That's great, Caillou. <laughs> so when will the Tooth Fairy come? Well, first you need to put your tooth under your pillow or she won't know to come and visit. Oh, right, I forgot. We'll all go up together. Okay now, Caillou, place it carefully under your pillow. And let's see in the morning what the Tooth Fairy brings you. Good night, Caillou. Good night, Mommy and Daddy. Caillou sat up in his bed and rubbed his eyes. Suddenly, his eyes <gasps> widened as he remembered what lay waiting beneath his pillow. Just then, Caillou noticed something from the corner of his eye. Something glowed in the corner of his bedroom. It was the Tooth Fairy. Well, hello, Caillou. I hear you've lost a tooth. Have you been taking good care of your teeth? <laughs> Where do you take all the teeth, Tooth Fairy? Why, back to Fairyland, of course. We use them to build our fairy castle bigger and bigger. Wow. Oh, good night, Tooth Fairy. Good night, Caillou. I'll take good care of your tooth. Don't forget to check your pillow when you wake up. Caillou had the strangest dream. Remembering suddenly, Caillou sat bolt upright and threw his pillow to the side. <gasps> Under his pillow was a shiny silver quarter and a note. Dear Caillou, Thank you for keeping your tooth so clean. Love from the Tooth Fairy.
<laughs> it was another busy day in the classroom when Mrs. Martin called for the kids to quiet down. She had an announcement to make. All right, kids, settle down, settle down. Okay, now we have an exciting thing happening at school this week. It's the school talent show. The class couldn't wait to get started on practicing their talents. But what was Caillou going to do? When Caillou got home later that day, he searched the house for things to do in the talent show. From skipping... to singing. He even tried dancing. Caillou was beginning to wonder if he'd ever find a talent for the school talent show. Hmm, what's the matter, Caillou? I don't know what my talent is. I've tried everything. Well, hey, Caillou, what about this? What do I do with this? Well, Caillou, it's a magic wand. You can be a magician in your talent show. Here. <gasps> okay, Daddy. So what magic should I do? You just wait here, Caillou. I'll be right back. Moments later, Daddy was back carrying another box. It was a hard black case, and stamped across it were the words Magic Kit. Wow! Now, Caillou, this used to be my Magic Kit when I was your age. Now it's yours. Use it at the talent show and show everyone what you can do. You sure do, Caillou. Now, get practicing. Hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Caillou <gasps> practiced and practiced, and the next day at the talent show he was ready but starting to feel nervous. He was up next. Hey, Caillou. It's okay. Don't be nervous. You'll be great. Yeah, Caillou. Just go out there and have fun. <gasps> My name is Caillou, and, and I'm a magician. Behold. Caillou whispered the magic words, tapped the hat with his magic wand, and... Meet Teddy, everybody! <laughs> and now for my next trick. Look what happens to Teddy when I do this. The crowd went wild for Caillou's tricks. He was so proud of himself. It was a family day out, and Caillou couldn't wait to explore the botanical garden. Wow! Look at all the colors! Come on, Rosie, let's go take a look around. Well, Rosie, that's a sunflower. And it's yellow like the sun, see? Sunflower? Yellow! Hmm. Oh, 
Okay, and this one here? It's white, just like the moon. What's it called, Mommy? Well, that one... Hmm... That one's a moonflower. Wow! Okay, so sunflowers are... Yellow! And moonflowers are... White! <laughs> That one's a rose. It's a rose. A red rose. Hmm. Roses are red. And violets are blue. Sunflowers are yellow. And... Buttercups, too. Moonflowers are... White! Tree leaves are... Aren't these, these the, the greatest, greatest colors, colors you've, you've ever, ever seen? seen? <laughs> <gasps> what is that? That's pollen, Caillou. It can make people sneeze. and see if we can find the fountain. Well, you did a good job finding us. How did you manage that? I listened out real hard for the sound of the fountain and followed the sound to the middle of the maze. I'm proud of you, Caillou. That was really thinking on your feet. See, Caillou? Sometimes you might feel lost, but you're actually just on an adventure. Caillou loved exploring the botanical garden, but it was more fun when he was with his family and not lost in the maze. It was a special day in Caillou's family. It was Rosie's birthday, and all the family were outside enjoying the sunshine and having a party. Mommy, Mommy, please, can I go play in the bounce house now? Okay, Caillou, but be careful. And don't forget to remove your shoes. But I don't want to take my shoes off. Better do as we're told, Caillou. Caillou had a great time in the bounce house. But the other kids started to get too rough. Hey! Hey! Stop that! <laughs> Safely back on solid ground, Caillou looked around for another game to play. Hey, Caillou! Are you all right? Caillou put on a brave face. After all, there were other activities he could do. <laughs> hey! Let's go play pin the tail on the donkey! <laughs> Caillou and his friends began to play pin the tail on the donkey. They got very dizzy. <laughs> You try, Caillou. Oh no, that's not where tails go 
either. Hey, look! They're bringing out the cake. All right now, kids, gather round. Rosie, don't forget to make a wish. Rosie made her special birthday wish and blew out her candles all at once. And then... <laughs> How about some presents? Oh, me first! Me first! Can I, Mommy? Okay, Caillou, what have you got? Here you go, Rosie. Happy birthday! Rosie couldn't believe her luck. Her very own <gasps> teddy bear. Teddy! Good job, Caillou. What a great gift. One more thing, Rosie. Dear Rosie, happy birthday. Have the best day. Love from your brother, Caillou. Oh, Caillou, that's lovely and so well written. Isn't that nice, Rosie? Hmm. Hey, kids, it's time for the pinata. <laughs> Rosie gets first hit. Go, Rosie! It was the best birthday Rosie ever had. And Caillou had a pretty good day, too. It was World Book Day. All the kids were so excited to dress up as their favorite characters. But no one was as excited as Caillou, who came dressed as a pirate. All right now, class, gather round. Settle down, settle down. Now, as you know from your wonderful costumes, today is World Book Day. But it's not just about dressing up in costume. It's about getting your imaginations going through reading. So here are some vouchers. You can spend them on whatever book you like at the store after school. Wow, Leo, look at this! Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to spend their vouchers. They thought long and hard about what book they wanted to buy. Caillou and his friends were exchanging vouchers. There were so many different colors and pictures. Oh, cool! Yours has a dinosaur on it! Look at Clementine's! It has a wolf on it!
boring. With their imaginations truly fired up, Caillou and his friends couldn't wait to get reading. Caillou was excited to take his book home and have all the adventures of a pirate. My uncle gave this to me for my birthday. We can do all sorts of practical jokes with this. <laughs> Ew! <laughs> Which one should we use first? I'm not sure. Why don't you decide, Caillou? Funny boys. <laughs> oh, hi, Leo. Hello, Caillou. What are you boys up to? We got you some peanuts, Daddy. Would you like some? For me? That's very nice of you, Caillou. Thank you. Oh, you boys got me. There, 
they are. Hello, Rosie. Caillou. Oh, hi, Leo. Hello. Grandma, would you like some juice? Oh, why, yes, Caillou. I am a little thirsty. Rosie, do you want to help me with the ice cubes? Ice cubes! Ice cubes! Thank you very much, you two. Oh, oh, oh heavens! <laughs> Was this a prank? It was school sports day, and Caillou was excited to get started. All his family had come out to watch him compete. All right, kids, the race is about to start. Line up at your marks. On your marks, get set. Caillou shot out from the crowd. He was ahead of the rest. <laughs> oh no! Caillou dropped his egg! Caillou tried and tried to keep his eggs steady, but he couldn't do it. Caillou! You can do it! Just keep going! Take it easy, slow, and steady. Just when he thought it was all over, Caillou decided he wasn't going to give up. Go, Caillou! Go, Caillou! <laughs> Caillou reached the finish line, and he was so proud of himself. As his friends lifted him into the air, Caillou felt so happy. He realized that it was the taking part that counted. I did it! <laughs> you did so well in the race, Caillou. Not as well as you, Clem. You were so fast, I couldn't catch you! Thanks, Caillou. But you're a winner, too. You completed the race. Even though it was hard, you carried on. Wow! Thanks! That was a lot of fun. Congratulations, Caillou! <laughs> Mommy, Daddy, look what I got! Very good, Caillou. We knew you could do it. All right, what's next? Looks like Rosie's proud of her big brother. <laughs> All right, Caillou, I'll be back in a minute. Make sure you get nice and clean. Okay, Mommy. Good luck on your mission, Captain Caillou. What's your name? Uh, uh, hi, I'm Caillou. Oh, legend tells of a great explorer by the name <gasps> of Caillou. Really? Oh, yes. It says, 
that he is the one to find the lost treasure and return it to us. Wow! Will you help us, Great Caillou? You got it! Let's find that treasure! some time for Captain Caillou to sail the seas. <laughs> okay, class, it's almost time for the weekend. So that means it's time to choose who gets to take home the class pet, Gerald. <gasps> now, who wants to take him home? Me! 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 me, 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 me. Caillou, why don't you take Gerald today? <laughs> so I get to feed him and play with him, and then tomorrow he gets to run around in his ball. <laughs> Rise and shine, sleepyhead. Breakfast time! Come on! Mommy says you can play in your ball today! Caillou, Leo's here! Here, Gerald. Hey, Caillou. Hey, Leo. You want to come and see Gerald? I was just about to take him outside. Sure. So he needs to get some exercise, so I put him in his ball. <gasps> oh, no. What's wrong, Caillou? Where's oh. Gerald? I left him here, and now he's gone! Huh? Huh? <gasps> Mommy! I left Gerald in his ball, and he's disappeared! Don't worry, <laughs> Caillou. We'll find him. Hmm. <laughs> oh. 
Here, Gerald. Here, Gerald. Ha, 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 ha. 